Thank you very much. We join for the Pledge of Allegiance and please keep the police officer's family in prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Pastor Lee. It's my pleasure to meet you, Greenwood Council leaders, today. I come from Chin State, northwestern part of Burma, and now we uh, received the gospel by African Baptist Mission, and nowadays approximately 95% of the Chins are Christians. So God opened for us to come to the United States and Indianapolis, and even to uh, uh, front door to knock your key for the, the hell. And by the grace of God and uh, your support, we bought First Baptist Church uh, last 2021 November, and we are your neighbor. So, as we are, we are your spiritual children, we need your guidance, support, and guideline in the future. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Give them wisdom today. Greenwood Common Council leaders, as you give wisdom to Solomon toward his people. Give our leaders with your spirit so that they may guide Greenwood community in the right way in your sight. Be with them at this meeting and lead them with your power. All this pray, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. You may be seated. <clears throat> Roll call. Thanks. Present. Campbell. Here. Foster. Here. Gibson. Here. Joe. Here. Hopper. Here. Lexi. Here. Jonathan. Here. That's really here, we have a quorum. All of you should have received copies of the minutes from our last meeting on June the 20th. We have a motion. So moved. Motion by Mr. Lexi, second. Second. Second by Mr. Foster. Any additions, deletions, or corrections? Hearing none, then roll call on the minutes. Eight. Abstaining. Campbell. Aye. Foster. Aye. Gibson, aye. Hill, aye. Hopper, aye. Lexi, aye. Billington, aye. Aye. Minutes are approved on a vote of eight to zero with one abstention. Uh, reports, Corporation Council. You all should have received on SharePoint the items for my monthly. And also, Amanda of our office was checking and realized we hadn't given you a tour plan report in a year. So we have your first one. Uh, by the next meeting, we will make sure we have all the status of those plans updated for you as well. 
So if you have questions about any of those, let me know and I would be glad to answer them. All right, any questions at this time? All right, anything from the controller? Not at this time. Uh, committee board reports. Mr. President, I have something. I passed out a copy to everybody of the MOU from the Cooper Committee. Um, some of the changes are a long time coming, but uh, they're appreciated more now than ever, given the, the importance on public safety. Um, so we have our representatives from the police and fire department from me to Cooper if I have any questions. Now, uh, if not, they are in agreement to invite you over. All right, thank you. Any questions at this time? Mr. All right. Yes. So, Mr. President, we did meet uh, for the regular scheduled meeting of the Planning Commission uh, last week, and two items uh, primarily was on the agenda, and we both had to do with uh, new forms uh, for. Uh, Pulling out for violations of uh, our zone ordinances. One was for warning, one was for doing, dealing with the fines and everything that had to be All right. Any other committee or board reports? All right. Before we get to the public comment section, just want to um, say something about the agenda tonight. Uh, there was an agenda that was published earlier that had ordinance 2217 on it. That ordinance has been removed, and the agenda that is put out tonight does not have ordinance 217 on it. The council will not be discussing that uh, again. So, just wanted to let the public know that is off of our agenda <clears throat> and no longer up for discussion. So. At uh, this time, is opportunity for members of the public to address the council concerning items that are on the agenda. So if you're here tonight, would like to uh, speak to the council, there's a five minute time limit uh, on individuals and 20 minute per topic. So uh, step to the podium, state your name and address for the record, or if you're online, you may speak up. All right, now we have Mr. Good. Good evening, council members. Randy Good in 1157 Central Park Boulevard South. Greenwood, Indiana, this is 143. I come to you tonight on behalf of Resolution 2213 and 2214 work. Back home is requesting the declarations for the tax abatements. And the reason I come before you is because of where this property sets and seeing the paperwork that was submitted, I have a few concerns with this. If you look at what they submitted and their drawings of where this sets, you will see that they only have a 20 foot setback from the houses that sit directly to the east of them. The only thing separating them from those houses is that 20 foot and the burn that we're going at before we run into traffic, light, and noise in this area. Another thing that is concerning in this area is when I again look at the paperwork, and I'm looking at page four of the 15 that we submitted. They know that they will have up to 29 docks per building. That's a total of 58 docks in and out of there. Again, this is a lot of traffic, a lot of noise, a lot of light. That means, unfortunately, people to the west are actually going to be closer to these buildings, I believe, than I said to the gas station. And I know what the noise is there, and it becomes a real concern when we were looking at this. The increase of traffic for the people trying to get in and out of this area and these housing areas, plus the people to the north that could be impacted with the curb cuts that may be going in, are also another concern. I will acknowledge that Mr. Sherman at that point been very, very good with Greenwood. I have no issue with this proposal other than where this actually sets and the things that I've named. And for that reason, I would ask that this would be. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to address the council at this time? Seeing none, then moving on. Ordinances and resolutions, none under notice of the to consider. First reading, resolution 2212. A resolution of the Common Council of the City of Greenwood, Indiana, approving the issuance of the City Stormwater District Revenue Bonds and the execution thereof, sponsored by Bates and Gibson. Do I have a motion? Second. Motion by Mr. Lexi, second by Ms. Gibson. 
Any discussion on the council? Hearing none, then roll call, resolution 2212, first reading. Bates. Aye. Campbell. Aye. Foster. Aye. Gibson. Aye. Bills. Aye. Offer. Aye. Lexi. Aye. Benelton. Aye. Eppley. Aye. Resolution 2212 passes first reading 9 0. Resolution 2213. A resolution declaring a certain area within the city agreement an economic revitalization area and qualifying certain real property improvements for tax abatement and setting the time and place for a public hearing. Bethnell Industrial or Still Road Building 1, sponsored by Campbell and Hopper. Do have a motion? This is Mr. Hopper. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Foster. Any discussion on the council? Anybody here wishing to speak to this, Mr. Sheldon? Pat Sherman, consequences of the case here for back then. Uh, we, I did a, a short presentation, an introduction of those two buildings. Uh, the two buildings in this resolution and the one following are identical buildings. Uh, they're about Thousand square feet, about twenty million dollars worth of investment in one of the buildings. These buildings, from a you know, economic development standpoint, don't really lend themselves to a distribution facility. Uh, Becknell, as I indicated last uh, reading, is uh, built the building at the same size that uh, that our uh, district uh, facility. So that they, they have one right now. Um, but that, that's the kind of building this is. It can be bifurcated or split into two smaller uh, sections, but typically uh, we're walking between us instead of two coming. And that's the kind of business that these buildings attract. They're very good for economic development because of that, because they don't really know themselves to uh, distribution. They don't have a lot of traffic to be able to put them specifically. So again, there's a total of over $40 million dollars in both of these buildings that Becknell is investing in our community. Uh, the 50 is the salary range. Whichever front use is amended, uh, we were asked to put the total amount of the salaries of the people in there. So that's the amendment that you can see. I'm here to answer any questions. Becknell has been a great partner with the city in building these types of buildings. And uh, I'll ask that you approve uh, both building one and building two. All right, any questions for Mr. Sherman? Here and then in roll call, resolution 2213, first reading. Campbell? Aye. Foster? Aye. Gibson? Aye. Bill? Aye. Nay. 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 Resolution 2213 passes first reading six to three. Uh, resolution 2214. A resolution declaring a certain area within the city agreement and economic revitalization area and qualifying certain other property improvements for tax abatement and setting the time and place for a public hearing. Bethnell no. Industrial or Still Road Building 2, sponsored by Campbell and Hopper. Sorry. Do have a motion? Motion of Mr. Hopper, second. Second. Mr. <clears throat> Lexi. I assume it's everything okay. you just said about the last one applies to this one. It's okay. okay. Any discussion or questions from the council? I'd just like to share a you know kind of oppositional why I agree that Bell's done some great things to agree with. I appreciate that. It's also the first project that they've tried to build on top of residential. Um, so that's the biggest thing I can tell you as well. If you look at that map, luckily my family and I have moved recently, but this would be in my front yard. I'd be staring at these buildings from my front porch if I hadn't moved recently. So uh, out of consideration for my neighbors and my constituents, that's why I'm opposed to it. Yeah, okay. I certainly agree if I could answer. Uh, that, that parcel there is, is just east of the road tracks, and that is a prime industrial site. There's been other people looking at that. They want to put much larger buildings in there than, than these are. 
uh, these buildings that, that tend to be uh, less populated, uh, more uh, higher wages in those types of places. I certainly understand your concern. The burning will be high. They will go through everything the plan commission asked them to do in order to put that space between this and, and the residential area. If not, say it would be, there could be a lot of forest on the big home. These, they build a great deal away from the main uh, town. So hopefully that will mitigate but that area with the railroad track spur that's there is uh, one they have these smaller buildings, two small buildings that are there. Do we have but a, I appreciate it. Is there a berm height set at this point? It, it will be set by the plan. Yeah, I, I believe all of the setbacks and, mm -hmm. and all that will be determined with the plan commission. So that's and they, they will wow. take that into consideration. Any other questions or comments on the council? Thank you, Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams, if you would like to propose a burn height and permit, then people would be agreeable to that if you have a height that the plan is to that. Uh, well, my, I believe the planning commission has to do their job as they're approaching that. All right. All right, anything else? Seeing none, then roll call ordinance 22, or sorry, resolution 2214, first reading. Aye. Gibson? Aye. Gill? Aye. Offer? Aye. Lexi? Aye. Middleton? Nay. Williams? Nay. Bates? Nay. Thank you. Aye. Resolution 2214 passes first reading six to three. Resolution, thank you, Mr. Okay. Chair. Resolution 2215. A resolution of the Human Common Council terminating property tax abatement for personal property improvements at FedEx Supply Chain, sponsored by Gibson. Okay. So moved. A motion by Mr. Bates. Second. Second. Second by Ms. Gibson. Should have received a memorandum uh, of amendment uh, to indicate changes to it that FedEx has requested that this be terminated. So, if you would like to do the simplest thing, which is a motion to amend it per the uh, memorandum provided by the legal department, to change that. I have a motion by Ms. Gibson to amend resolution 2215 as uh, presented by the legal department. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Bates. Any discussion on the amendment? Hearing none, then roll call on the amendment to resolution 2215. Gibson? Aye. Bill? Aye. Hoffman? Aye. Lexi? Aye. Middleton? Aye. Williams? Aye. Bates? Aye. Campbell? Aye. 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 Resolution 2215 is amended on a vote of nine to zero. Any discussion on resolution 2215 as amended? Hearing none, then roll call resolution 2215 as amended. First reading. Bill? Aye. Hoffman? Aye. Lexi? Aye. Middleton? Aye. Williams? Aye. Bates? Aye. Campbell? Aye. Hoffman? Aye. Thank you. Aye. Resolution 2215 as amended passes first reading nine to zero. I would entertain a motion for suspension of the rules through second reading. Second. We have a motion by Ms. Gibson for suspension of the rules. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Uh, Lexi. Any discussion on suspension? Hearing none, then roll call or suspension of the rules through second reading on resolution 2215 as amended. Offer? Aye. Lexi? Aye. Middleton? Aye. William? Aye. 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 Campbell? Aye. Officer? Aye. Gibson? Aye. Aye. Resolution, the rules are suspended on resolution 2215 on a vote of nine to zero. We have a motion on second reading. So moved. Motion by Mr. Bates, second by Mr. Lexi. Any discussion? Hearing none, in roll call, resolution 2215 as amended, second reading. Lexi? Aye. Middleton? Aye. Williams? Aye. Bates? Aye. Campbell? Aye. Foster? Aye. Gibson? Aye. Bill? Aye. And Hoffman? Aye. 
Resolution 2215 as amended has passed second reading above nine to zero. Uh, second reading, uh, ordinance number 2212. Ordinance amended 2022 salary ordinance, common council ordinance number 21. This is 317, but I think that's actually 2117. To amend positions in community development services sponsored by Bates and Gibson. Do I have a motion? Second. Motion by Ms. Gibson. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Foster. Any discussion on the council? No, it's just a dyslexic moment there. What? It's a dyslexic moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have those. The caption is actually correct on the ordinance itself. It's not in there. Amend the caption to correct that. So second. We have a motion to amend the caption to correct it by Mr. Hopper, second by Mr. Bates. <coughs> Any discussion? Hearing that in roll call, the motion to amend the ordinance 2212's caption. Gentlemen? Aye. 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 Nope. Uh, ordinance 2212 is amended a vote of nine to zero. Any further discussion on ordinance 2212 is amended? Hearing none, then roll call. Ordinance 2212 is amended. Second reading. Williams? Aye. Bates? Aye. 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 Ordinance 2212 passes second reading 9 0. Is that okay? Ordinance 2214. And ordinance providing for additional appropriations from the aviation fund to budget classification 431 $150,211 and from the cumulative capital development fund to budget classification 431 $377,500 sponsored by Gibson. We have a motion. Sure. Motion by Ms. Gibson. Second. Second, Mr. Lexi. Any discussion on Ordinance 2214? What's the uh, reasons for the transfer of the funds? To help pay the city's portion of an apron expansion project that was happening. I think that's correct, Mr. Lake. Yes, the, uh, the airport got some FAA grant funds for the apron expansion, but because of the current state of the economy, uh, bids came in higher than what we were granted. So the 15211 from the airport operating fund would be picking up the additional costs for that grant that uh, we did not have budgeted. And then the 377500 is actually related to adding some stormwater detention, some underground detention there. Uh, as we started building the airport, we are running up against the limits on uh, our stormwater capacity. So by adding this detention, while this project is happening, we can get it all done cheaper than having a second mobilization for that project later. Um, so basically on that one, we're asking the city to fund that, and then the airport board is committed to repay the city that 377. So we're just following the lead of uh, construction for the summer. Mr. Wright, would you refresh us on the proportion of that we pay on the FAA because it's a nice amount. Yes, so the FAA grants uh, tend to be 90% paid by the feds, 5% paid by the state, and then 5% paid by us. There are some other grants that they issue that are 100% covered by the feds. Uh, most of those are planning type grants. But for construction, it's 90 and then five committed by the state and five from us. But any other questions? Thank you, Mr. Wright. Here now is in roll call ordinance number 2214, second reading. Aye. Campbell. Aye. 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 Ordinance 2214 passes second reading 90. Or a resolution number 2210. A resolution of the Greenwood Common Council waiving non compliance with very good holdings LLC regarding its failure to time 
E5, its application or deduction from assessed valuation of structures and economic finalization areas, ERA, sponsored by Gibson. Do you have a motion? Second. Motion by Ms. Gibson. Second. Second. Second, Mr. Foster. Any discussion on the Council of Resolution 2210? Hearing none, then roll call Resol Resolution 2210, second reading. Aye. Foster. Aye. Gibson. Aye. Bell. Aye. Offer. Aye. Jackson. Aye. Jennifer. Nay. Williams. Aye. 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 Resolution 2210 passes second reading <clears throat> eight to one. There's no new business tonight, miscellaneous business. This is the second opportunity to give uh, set aside for the public to address the council, this time concerning items not on the agenda. So if you're here tonight to speak to the council, please step to the podium, state your name and address for the record. All right, seeing none, then moving on, any miscellaneous business from the council? Yes, Mr. Kim, uh, I just like to say that um, I was crushed this morning to hear the uh, news of our officer that we lost early this morning, and I chose to lower my flag to half staff, and that's a personal choice that I made that I think that our public safety people, uh, they, they go through a lot, our fire and our police, and there's so much stress and pressure on them. So I would just like to think that when they go down the street, I know that a lot of people have their flag and have staff for the city of Chicago, but I would like for um, all of our employees in the city, but especially our public service to know that we are all there to support them and thinking of them and only wish that we could take part of their thinking. Thank you. Anything else from the council? All right, we do have a CF1. On Star Properties, Resolution 1509, Real Estate Tax Abatement. Motion by Mr. Hopper, second by Mr. Bates. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? It is approved unanimously. Any other miscellaneous business from the council? Other miscellaneous business corporation council? Mayor, sir. Controller? Nothing. Mayor? Nothing. Thank you, everyone. We are adjourned.